I went to Ripley as superintendent, it was in October 2002, and uh, after about 500,000 meetings, it seemed like, we broke ground that day, and it was probably one of my partying events as a regional administrator there, and I had the pride to uh, do the countdown of the groundbreaking, which, as you know, usually consists of using a shovel or two. But in this, but in usual way, our career tech program in conservation decided to use uh, a big old uh, steam shovel, a, a dozer, I guess you call it. And on that dozer was my own son, Justin, and I'm very <coughs> proud to say that he broke ground for the, the village back then. And we can fast forward the tape a little bit because it seemed like it took a long time from that moment when the, the dozer hit the ground and broke it ground and started digging things up to where we are today. I'm going to ask Terry to try to catch us up and maybe tell us what she knows about the history of the village because everybody claims that they're the ones that started the idea. I think Rosalie Wade claims that she did and that she had with this, I think the Sertoma Club, but maybe you know different. So Terry, tell us what you want about the village and your role at the village right now. Well, as you said, I'm the coordinator at the Children's Safety Village, and um, it's been a long time in the making, and I know that Sir Toma Club and Rosalie were key people in um, getting this going, and once they brought it to the attention of Sheriff Joe Jurassi, uh he was just all about it and very excited about the idea and has stuck with it for the last 12, 13 years. Right. Right. So, um, Currently, uh, we're very excited because we've received some funding to start our educational facility and our storage facility. Mm -hmm. And we are breaking ground next Thursday um, at 9 o'clock at the Village. And uh, we've invited all of our members and past members to be there. And it'll probably be a very emotional time for a lot of right. them. Okay, so le let's now come from from the very beginning on this okay so I know there was Cosmo and there was Rosalie and Tony Rafa and Joe and, and a number of other folks that too many to even mention because the, the board has changed uh, Bill Salter um, and so forth but <coughs> what is a safety village what what's the purpose of it and so these folks let's just pretend they've never heard of it I know a lot of people have mm -hmm. and a lot of people have said to me when are you guys gonna get that done are you ever gonna get it done right. and it is it's almost there but right. let's let's just define it and, and tell people what are you gonna do with it and what are kids gonna do with it and right. you know, all that sort of thing well it's a miniature village there's uh, paved roads um, miniature businesses, stop signs, street lights, uh, railroad crossings, and what we intend to do is have children kindergarten through fifth or sixth grade um, come there each year. And we will bus between 16 and 18,000 children through there from out from Chautauqua County or surrounding areas. And this is where they will learn about street safety and bicycle safety and fire safety. Okay, let me stop you there. You said miniature. So maybe the audience is all thinking like, you know, teeny tiny miniature. Right. That's not what we're talking, right? Right. Can you give the, the folks a little idea what you mean? Yeah, the buildings are um, either 18 by 16 or 12 by 24. Feet. Feet. Okay, so these these are buildings. These are not like the teeny tiny little things that sometimes right. you go when you're on vacation. You go to the miniature village of whatever, and there's these little little houses. These are full right. blown, probably the size of a garage. Probably each building. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So so you have this village. So what else is what else would they what would people see if they were at the village? Well, currently, right now, they would see um, some of these. I call them residents of the village. Mm -hmm. um, there are several buildings up there that people have donated to be a part of the village. Um, Feel free to list them. This is a great I'll opportunity. I'll do that. Because this has been a long time coming, folks. Okay. Um, there's a, a church there that was donated from several churches in the area. and um, Wait, Let me make a comment on that. I, I'm going to jump in and out of this. I, I remember as an educator, church and state always are separate. And someone says, you, you got a church at, at the school? I go, yeah, what's your point? And the whole idea is this is to represent a little community. Right. And of course, churches are involved with our communities very much, mm -hmm. and so that's not a problem. So if anybody has an issue with that, that's why it's there, because we're it's a representation of this, the, the real community we live in, and this right. is lease property. It's the BOCES is allowing this to happen. And right. it's all approved by New York State. Right. <laughs> Um, we have the Jamestown Area Federal Credit Union, Great. and uh, most recently would be Walmart, little Walmart up there. And can you uh, buy things there? 
Uh, no, no, not at this okay. point. So it's just, it's just pretend. Right. And okay. we should probably also mention Little McDonald's is at the front of the village, mm -hmm. and they aren't open. They don't sell hamburgers there. <laughs> no, no miniature burgers. Uh, not yet, no. <laughs> um, we have Herman Kent Post 777. Which is what? It's a miniature... Uh, American Legion, or exactly right. right. A lot of times, there, there's different kinds of posts. So right. Okay. Uh, and there's WCA. Mm -hmm. um, recently, we had a dedication from Kiwanis Club, and they made the Kiwanis Children's Library. How nice! And that's been in the making for about five, six years now. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chautauqua County Fire Chiefs Building, and the Village Jail. Uh, there's Jamestown Pediatrics, and AAA mm -hmm. Habitera. E.E. Uh, e. Austin recently put up a building there. Uh, CSX Railroad has been a long time in the making as well, and that is um, currently being built this week. And they had also donated um, the arms for the railroad, C right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which were at that time, I think, thirty, forty thousand dollars, which was a great asset to the village. Uh, we also have most um, well going up this week is also Lakeshore Savings Bank. And there's a schoolhouse, which is one of my favorite. It's adorable up right, there. I just saw it, yeah. And the ki uh, students from Jamestown High School had Battle of the Classes. Oh, And wow. they earned money to put towards building a schoolhouse. Excellent, excellent. So, and then there's Ontario Specialties, uh, Allied Alarm, um, DFT Communications is about to be built. Holy mackerel. And this um, is really growing, isn't it? Tim Hortons. Right. It seemed like the the, the Celeron Legions of building sat there forever by itself. And then there was another building. I think it was the credit union went up. And this is before there were streets and right. uh, plants and trees and uh, landscaping and so forth. So it's come a long way. Mm -hmm. well, I want to tell you a little bit, a little story about one of the buildings. The Ontario Specialties Building is a green right. metal building. And I know you guys are listening. Uh, it was uh, Doug Neal and uh, Neil Young, uh, yeah, from Sherman, and uh, my my brother-in-law Artie Wright and my father-in-law Bill Molson from Ripley. The five of us worked on that project. Um, better part of a summer. A uh, couple of guys started with us, and then uh, that was with um, uh, Deputy Rob Holcomb and. Uh, we we <laughs> had quite an interesting time building that building. Uh, it had sat out for a while, and the wood got kind of warped, and so it, it took us a while to get things realigned. But uh, I think I lost weight and cooked some of my hide up on that roof in the <laughs> middle of August because uh, a couple times I smelled burgers, and it was me cooking up there. <laughs> but we have, we've had a lot of volunteers there, and it's it's been really awesome. But um, all right, so we got. All these buildings. All right. So, mm -hmm. what does what does that have to do with the village and the kids? So, why the buildings? Well, it creates um, it mimics a real village. Okay. And the kids will have little cars. They're kind of jeeps, power wheels mm -hmm. that they will be able to drive along the streets. They learn about stopping at the stop signs. They learn about the street lights and one way and yield and so forth like that. And. Um, then there will be children like kindergartners who will learn the crosswalk and and where to cross and not to come out between cars. Um, recently, we met with city council in Jamestown, and one of their big concerns was the number of incidents they were having in the Jamestown right, area right. and the fatalities that um, had happened there. And uh, so they kind of did a study of that area to see, you know, what what can we do to try to prevent these things from going on and the children's village wanted to be a big part of that mm -hmm. um, and helping to educate the kids they did find out that um, you know that was the main reason is that the kids just didn't know any better right. didn't know where to cross you know a lot of our oh there's a picture of the village from, uh, some time ago but that kind of gives you an idea folks of the, the 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 lots that were available gosh maybe about a year and a half ago yeah it's going to get a new aerial where's joe jirasi we got to get that yeah. up, <laughs> up there because uh, there's probably over 20 buildings now or somewhere in there right, right. we had a recent one and then um right uh, there are three more in the last, you know, two weeks. So. Awesome, awesome. You know, um, a lot of our listeners might say, "Hey, I, I'm done with my child rearing days. Uh, that, that's that's for the younger parents. I'm a grandparent, okay, and." Uh, I know that when I've got Kyla with me, who's about four and a half right now, when we're walking just in the country, 
you know, it's a responsibility, and the kids just don't quite understand when you mean stop. 